we will demonstrate wireless triggering through an example of an ERP experiment with smarting. This is a concept of fully mobile recordings, so we use no wiring for the stimulus delivery. This is an example of visual detection task and instruction how to perform ERP experiments on both the PC streamer and the smartphone app. The NeurOBS presentation software, capable of sending the event codes over the LSL protocol, is used for the stimulus delivery. It is also possible to use other stimulus delivery and experimental control software that are sending markers over the LSL protocol. You can also use UDP triggering, but LSL protocol allows more precise triggering from multiple devices connected via LAN network. Click the record button in Smarting Streamer signal display window. For a presentation experiment, select the XDF file format. If sending the event codes over the UDP protocol, select the BDF format. Click the boxes of the streams you want to record, in this case, EEG and Presentation. Click the Browse button to navigate to the folder where you want to store the data and provide the desired file name. When everything is set, click Start Recording button. Go back to the Presentation window and click on Run, and then the Run Scenario button to start the experiment. At the end of the experiment, click Record button to end the recording. Open the presentation app and select the desired experiment scenario. We will use the checkerboard demo that comes pre-installed with our system. Open the Smarting app and connect to the Smarting EEG system. Go to Settings and enter the recording settings. Select the XDF file format and enable Presentation from the Events menu. Go back to the main menu and provide the desired file name. Go to the Signal Show window, click Record button and read carefully the recording preview. To start the experiment, press Smartphone Square button to return to Presentation app. In Presentation, click Start the experiment. At the end of the experiment, Click Record button in the Smarting app to end the recording and read the experiment summary. The number of events will be a good checking point for the experiment. The data from the smartphone recordings will be stored in the Smarting folder in the smartphone's internal memory. The data can be processed in EEG Lab in MATLAB or any other software that supports BDF or XDF file format. Here we show an example of processing the data in the EEG Lab toolbox where you can see the results of the checkerboard task and the visual component P1 in the occipital channels.